So now we are now ready to start modeling. So we're gonna model our walls first because it's easy. Uh, so I'm turning the roof plan off and pick another color for our lines so it will be easier to see the lines we're going to draw on top of the plan. So we have these, you see that we have different thicknesses here. There is this larger wall on the outside and a thinner one on the inside. And it looks like the other walls are all of the larger, thicker one, like the one on the left. So basically, we will have two types of walls. So I'm going to draw lines and polylines on top of the drawing where I want my new walls. This is usually, for me, the easiest way to draw walls is to draw the baselines first. Here I'm doing a polyline and that's it. You see that I went through the window because the window will like make its own hole through the wall later on. And I'm putting the line width of the wall a little bit thinner so I can see my red lines better. This one is on the only one segment so I can use a line removing those snaps not using this can be this one can be done with a polyline as, as well I recently changed the intersection snapping and it has become very good and very sensible so it's like picks a lot of points now and we have these inner walls And here again, the doors will make their own hole through the walls. So here we can draw lines that just go through the, the doors. No, and this one was wrong. So instead of fixing it, it's easier to delete and do it again. Removing the intersection snap which make actually things go way faster and here we have these this external wall that go to here and so I'll make a line that I'm sure will not cross the exterior wall so this will be one less step to care about afterwards so now we can basically take all our lines and turn them into walls Now we have to fix the alignment and thickness. I'm using the wireframe view, which is also V4 uh, keyboard shortcut, V1 being the default one. So V1, V4, it's easy to switch. And trying to adjust the alignment and the width to the underlying drawing. It's a bit too small 16 centimeters to the right one so v1 to get back to normal few modes this one it looks like it's 10 centimeter the half the width we have it we have now and it looks like yeah that's 10 centimeters so the Exterior walls have 16 centimeter width and the inner walls have 10 centimeter width. 
so we can already change the, the thickness of all the inner walls at the same time sometimes you don't know which one is right alignment which is left alignment it basically depends on how you drew the baseline so it's I never know which one is which one so this looks good so all of these apparently have the exterior thickness this looks good just to check yeah and we aim for the two remaining walls okay now we have our nice parametric walls perfectly in place and with the right thickness and the right alignment now we need to set their height and you see that the base our of our walls is lower than our four elevations we could actually change that by bringing our four elevations down the roof as well the roof plan i mean we will move everything down so the base of our walls now is this line which seems to be the base of them and this looks perfect and it's easy to see that the walls have three meters height so we can just set everything to three meters high Turning the roof plan off. And our roofs are basically done. Don't forget to save as much as you can, as always.